What a beefy day, man. What a beefy day. Twisted, how you doing? Welcome to another lousy weather day. Man, I might actually be able to pull out here with that getting T-boned. Wow. Wow we look at that. Talk about perfection. Let's talk about it guys. It is raining again. Okay, we got uh, this meathead's leaving. Let's see, I don't know what he's driving. It's a uh, Murano, Nissan Murano. I don't know what it is. I just know it's Big Meat Wednesday. What's up, Ronnie? How you doing? Good to see you. I'll return in a moment. nasty day baby what a nasty day it's all it knows how to do is this <coughs> ah. Ah. Oh. everybody's big meat welcoming everybody i see al and amanda uh, calimo hello to you we got naomi in here hello everybody uh, let's make sure we enjoy it. This is going to be the last hangout until Monday. Well, at least the last scheduled uh, hangout. I'm not saying I won't have one. I'll probably get bored. But uh, I'm going to be taking an Easter break and just doing some uploaded content over the few days. Enjoying my Easter holiday. Yeah, I'm going to make it a good one. It's going to be a simple one. we got a very, very, very rainy day uh, today. Miserable day. It's supposed to be miserable the next three days. So we're really not going to be missing anything in terms of uh, 
live streams because it's going to be very difficult to get out and about. Um, hopefully this will knock off the end of rainy season here. Uh, not too heavy of rain, although judging by some of the puddles, it looks like it really has come down here. So I'm going to have some personal time to myself over the... Uh, and then uh, come Monday, I'll all be uh, recharged and ready to roll, and uh, it'll be a nice April Fool's Day or whatever. And we'll be rocking and rolling, right? Hello, Colleen. I think tonight I made that really nice soup. It was a really long stream last night. A wonderful bicycle ride. Uh, hey Alex, the uh, Tuesday night taco ride was uh, it was so wonderful uh, last night. It was just a great time. And then we had like 200, uh, 200 freaking bikes at the end you know at the end of it and then I made a really nice chicken soup with the uh, shells so I'm looking forward to having that uh, over the holiday period <clears throat> and I'm going to wish all of a lot of you uh, some of you Passover happy Passover too coming up yeah, we had perfect weather yesterday, but now we're paying a price for today, which is okay. Amanda was your first friend that she made here. Yeah, last night was big. Oh, Noreen's like I was on mute. Well, you didn't miss anything anyway, Noreen. <laughs> it's like, uh, geez, O'Kelly's program's the only one I can listen to on mute and still enjoy the whole. <laughs> <laughs> what an entertainer I am, right? It takes you 10 minutes to figure out that you're on. <laughs> you're <laughs> I feel so honored. I feel I feel so loved. So I'm definitely looking forward to a bit of a uh, break. So I'm way behind on the live. Go figure. Well, stuff happens. Okay, let's get that meat wagon moving. There we go. Okay, it's your turn. We're giving you a chance. Okay, I'm going to take it. There you go. We're in a parade. There's the lazy days. Oh, we're just going to take that corner spot, eh? And now we got this chick working across. Not to hit anybody. Here we are. We're just going to walk straight across the parking lot. There we go. And we're going to pull in. Hello, Belfast. How are you? Do, 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 do. It's like we're in a parade, man. It's like we're in a parade. <sighs> so I'm just having noodles, something simple uh, tonight. Hey, Smelly Cat, how are you? So I will have some... Um, Let's try not to tap the pole too hard here. Yeah, it's 55 degrees. It's, eh, you know, it's all right. So I'm going to switch this, get that back a little bit so it's not up my nose. All right, there we go. All right. I'd welcome in everybody to, um, okay, I'm thinking, what did that say? I'm thinking of taking my clothes off. What did it say? Uh, taking oh crap MAGA classes oh okay sorry uh, yeah my my mistake <laughs> I guess people see what they want to see on there right 
I'm driving around Belfast. I saw your Giants Causeway thing. Uh, why don't you um, do a little longer video there, uh, Dave? And uh, no talking, no nothing. Uh, yeah, you're dirty mind. But I'm I'm on your channel. I try to support the content. I'd like to see you do more. You're in Scotland, which should be a natural for a big YouTube channel. Especially around Glasgow. And uh, you could take us out train spotting. Is he Rosie says? That's what we can't. I mean, now what Rosie's thinking about, right? There it is. Uh, flesh it away. The weather was horrible. It's Scotland, man. Did you think people were going to get sunny skies? And... Uh, chicks bouncing around in bikinis. I mean, come on, dude. It's uh, what? Is, it's Scotland, man. Everybody's uh, everybody's blue half the time, right? Uh, Anton Smith says, "I hate Planned Parenthood." Well, um, happy Wednesday, Anton. <laughs> I don't know what to, I don't know to tell you, dude. Please tap the like button if you're just coming in. It is appreciated. Why are you in northern? Uh, why are you in Northern Ireland, Dave? Uh, that means you had to get on a boat or something or a plane. Then, <laughs> thanks for sharing, Anton. <laughs> Anton, what do we say? Anton's so random, right? Look at all those mistletoes, baby. We got mistletoes galore over here, right? Look at all that mistletoe up in the trees. I'm pro-life Republican. Okay, well, awesome sauce, man. Uh, welcome in. Talk about relevant. Uh, just, uh, Alan, I love the way uh, Anton just spikes it in, right? It's like... You're playing, it's like the equivalent of you're playing baseball and this guy kicks a soccer ball onto the field or something, right? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> right? Uh, this guy just uh, kicks a soccer ball onto the pitch all of a sudden. <laughs> Next, we'll have to hear uh, another uh, half hour about how terror doesn't love me, right? Uh, let's see, we got Jennifer Sanchez. Hello, Jennifer. How are you? Good to see you. Oh, man. Do, 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 We're running Uber food around. Do, do, do. You, well, you thought you were pretty rando, huh? Well, Anton Smith is about as random as it gets on here. Right, and then he, I'm on here one day. He's like, "Oh, they just invaded Poland, right? They're they're just came across the border, the Russians." Are, and it's like, oh, "Come on, dude, really? Right? <laughs> it got you beat." So uh, yeah, Amanda Hogan, you picked the wrong night last night. They were doing a big feature story. They had some beautiful blonde gal. Standing in front of uh, Juan doing an interview. You can roll back the uh, video and see him standing there. She was doing an interview. We had a big time. We had a big time camera guy there with really expensive uh, Canon camera gear and gimbal. Going all around taking a ride. So I think this is like the biggest one in America now or something like that. The weekly bike ride. So You might see Juan on a Netflix stuff. Uh, thing right handsome one i don't know what the other guy's name is but i found out that they started this in may of 2021 i i was over of course i'm nosy i'm gonna get right into here the interview that's going on yay home from the hospital that's wonderful of course i'm gonna stick my nose in and hear uh, here you know of course i'm running around trying to get on camera you know i'm on my <laughs> I, I mean, it wouldn't be a documentary unless, unless um, somehow in, like that guy that used to go to all the sporting events, John 315 or whatever, Rainbow Head, he'd always, <laughs> same guy, every sporting event, the same guy would be there with the rainbow wig, right? <laughs> 
I got to be there to see what the hell's going on, right? So, uh, somebody had to cover for uh, Amanda Hug and Kiss, right? Because she doesn't care about Juan anymore. Uh, yeah, I should have been a journalist, photographer. I don't know. Uh, you know, everybody's doing AI these days. Stall a mini train horn onto the bike. Yeah. I'd like to carry a big uh, 50. I'd like to carry like a big 25 gallon air compressor thing and uh put the big train horn on that <laughs> these bikes would be <laughs> i'm not praying for nato they have five times the firepower that russia has what do i care about uh what are these? nato is perfectly capable of taking care of itself you automatically underestimate the french and the british in a major 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 way the British don't count on anybody, dude. They count on number one. That's how they stay number one, all right? That's how they stay relevant. All right? So you can you can, you can can plop your hiney in bed tonight and rest easy because the British Empire is on the job. All right. So, uh, yeah, it was a great time. Uh, it was a great time last night. Uh, actually, we didn't even miss Amanda Hug and Kiss uh, being on there, but I'm saying it was a good time. Uh, we never got so much one time as we got last night. We went through the uh, symbol of uh, infinite doom and let's say I wish Ireland was part of NATO. Oh, yeah, they would be a big contributor, right? <laughs> The Irish, the Irish whiskey brigade, right? That would be like my rice smells like a fart. Well, what did you do to it? You know, what did you do? Uh, just say you ever think about talking about a different subject on a lighter note. Yeah, we always have to drop into the dire aspects of the uh, of the news and all that. So you know, down. You just cooked it. Well, how can it smell, right? I don't know. I cook, I don't have rice that often, but when I cook it, it smells like uh, it smells like rice. I don't know, I don't know what you're doing to your rice. I have no no freaking no clue what you're doing. Um, uh, we've got a line of rain, but rain in the area right now. Yeah, I don't know what the blob. I don't know if we have a red blob over Santa Rosa or not. I'm not really sure, but I'm excited to. Um, uh think that in april it's all all this misery is going to be behind us and then it's going to be uh, clear sailing for eight months or seven or eight months and that's going to really be nice of course we'll be roasting the sack off but uh we can live with that we're gonna have to give a new prize mr relevant or ms Re ms relevant award from now on <laughs> Oh, shit. Too funny. Yeah, but the super bloom is going to be super allergies for me. But I'm all, I'm a little better armed this year. I've got the presmas treading this on. I like the smell of uh, basmati and jasmine. I just like basmati. I like a fluffy rice. I don't like a heavy, sticky rice, so... I always cook up basmati rice. It's, it's great for... Um, Chinese cooking, jasmine. I just like uh, basmati. I like it light and fluffy, baby. We've had a lot of stuff. You guys have seen the update video. We've had a lot of uh, all the fruit trees are doing well, really well blossoming. The best thing that can happen is like you just plant a fruit tree like I did. I just put down the other cherry tree and uh the rain comes in that's perfect this natural rain just works to really set the roots uh works to really really do a good good job of setting that that tree and so that's exciting i mean we're just gonna have nothing but more cherries going forward of course you have to protect them the birds go nuts for uh Especially the crows, they uh, they they really have an appetite for the uh, cherries. But I got this netting that you put over it that uh, 
although they're pretty smart, they like fly up on, on their hands. Say the average uh, animal intelligence has now exceeded the average human intelligence in in the world today. Tara wants me to visit. Yeah, I believe that when I see it. All right. <clears throat> She wants you to invade Dan in San Diego there, Anton. Right. Maybe uh, maybe she'll come and visit you in North Carolina there. Yeah, you can you can have all of your uh, have all of your nice charms there and enjoy. Hey Barry, how are you doing tonight? What's going on? Good to see you. Looks like it might be temporarily clearing over a little bit on the east side. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have a cherry pit or one or the other? Uh, no, I don't have a cherry pitter. I like to spit out the cherry seeds. Uh, I mean, what's the really cool thing is out in Sebastopol there? At the Barlow, they have that one area that has like 15 cherry trees in it and they're just really like delicious cherries so this year i'm gonna go sneaking in with a bag and <laughs> pluck me some cherry you're gonna get slammed with back-to-back -back storms this weekend all right well we had a little bit uh, not super heavy rain but enough to keep me inside uh and working hard uh working hard inside today you chilling out? You like tart cherries? I like uh, I like ding cherries. I like the big, robust cherries. I like cherry uh, jam. I think that that's really delicious. So we'll see. I really want to try making uh, uh, lemon gelato. <clears throat> I think that's really cool, Gelato. Uh, you like adult chat rooms? I don't know, Anton. Are you in any? <laughs> Besides this one, I mean, right? Are we? Uh, are we on uh, Scooby Doo chat rooms and things? Making, uh, making cherry syrup is nice. To any fresh cherries are fine. Never buy them. They're so expensive. Uh, we get a lot of cherries come in from Peru here in the off season so we have a full fruit selection year round here which is kind of weird to see uh you know blueberries in and stuff like that are all coming up from peru and uh chile and uh places like that they're pretty good rain is something around me yeah it is that's fun uh let's see that's the fun of being on the blacklist uh that's the fun of picking blackberries you can pick the biggest yeah i don't feel like picking but i've picked enough blackberries in my life i've gotten enough thorns in me and everything else no thanks i can walk down any street anywhere here and have blackberry bushes like crazy i always said if you want to have the very best home defense that you can have is plants uh blackberry bushes around the perimeter a person will bleed to death before they get through the uh, uh i'm not renting a tiller down those bushes had they have super thorns and you pick them no matter how careful you are you're still going to get yourself thorned a lot all right no thanks i used to pick them and then make a blackberry pie which i quite enjoyed but the pain versus uh, reward ratio just wasn't there and I finally stopped doing it. I thought, I don't really need it, right? Um, no, don't need to go through all that. Let's see, we got blue hair and green hair today. So that was the, uh, the my blackberry days were, were over. The bushes are brutal, Smelly Cat. Yeah, if you're real careful and you pick carefully, yeah, you can avoid a thorn. But if you're just trying to pick enough for a pie, unless you're going to sit there for six hours meticulously, you're going to give up a lot of blood on that mission picking, uh, picking blackberries. There's just no way to avoid... Uh, 
so I enjoy blueberries better, but I've noticed now these blueberries that come up from this from I don't know they they've grown these Franken blueberries now that are like they're the size of marbles now they're big and they just don't have the flavor that the smaller natural ones would have. A lot of stuff just you know even though they upsize it, it doesn't have the flavor of the uh, original ones. It just loses something in the uh, translation. Please tap the like button if you're coming in. It's a horizontal stream tonight. Or some of you might say horizontal stream tonight. So uh, I know a lot of people like horizontal streaming. The big blueberries have been getting uh, uh, the big, I don't know, big behind people's house. All the way, all the way. I got plenty of plaque. I could pick, I could pick a hundred of them. I could pick a hundred pounds of them, no easy. Uh, Anton is uh, Anton is on the job today. Uh, he hasn't said he hears voices in his head, so I don't. It just doesn't. I don't know. They don't have that enough of a blueberry flavor to me. Uh, thank you, thank you. Um, hello, Angus kisses. How are you? Thank you. Uh, we had some funny, uh, funny trolls last night. I hear my stuffed animal. <laughs> That's like two levels of depraved right there, right? <laughs> you got stuffed animal voices in your head now. <laughs> Uh, blueberry, uh, date oatmeal tonight for dessert. Yeah, I like blueberries or, you know, I, I, um, I, once a year I love a blueberry pie. Once a year I really like a blueberry pie. Once a year a peach pie. Many times a year a lemon pie. Maybe twice a week, twice a year maybe a coconut pie. I love Bing Cherry, so do I. They're really, uh, they're really, I think, a very superior cherry. Uh, let's see, blueberry pie. We see you, mystery. Uh, we see you. Best thing I make, Tara, really enjoyed was the almond peach pancakes. What a combination, man. Almond and peaches. Apple pie is good too. I've never made gelato before. So maybe I'll do a video over the holiday making some gelato. I've made plenty of apple pies off of the tree out back. Tremendous apple pies. Mahai apple pie. Well, you're supposed to say hello to the host first, Mystery. That's generally the way it works when you come into a chat room. I just happen to usually take the initiative and say hello to people. Who in the hell is Shannon? Is that your uh, stuffed animal dollhouse or something there? Save Mart apple pie. That that would be too. Uh, how you doing, mystery? That would be too um, too much commercial stuff in that. That'd be all these uh, all these preservatives and stuff in that apple pie. <coughs> Thing is, you have to have a good crisp apple. You can't have some kind of mushy, red delicious. It's it's all mushy. I've made applesauce before. That's turned out pretty good. I'm having macaroni with tuna fish for dinner. Okay, there you go. Tuna is like, eh, I don't know, people have tuna melts. I'm staying at Bungalow's Hostel with uh, Las Vegas. Well, I have a friend stop by over there tonight, right there across from the uh, the wedding chapel. Right. You going to go to the strip club tonight? Oh, who cares, Anton? We don't know Shannon from Cannon. 
make that coal slow. That stuff's easy. Pink Lady Apples. Yeah. <clears throat> You need an apple that's a little bit on the sour side, right? Well, they usually give you vouchers for discount at the strip club for a couple drinks over there. At least when Woe Man was working down there. Everybody's standing there in 115 degree heat, melting, just trying to get checked in to open up their booze and just drink themselves to death in the heat. <laughs> you have this guy holding court at the front check-in desk. Let's recite the 12 principles. We don't know Shannon Anton Smith. <sighs> We don't know. My favorite apple is a Fousey. Three bucks for a small cup of coleslaw. Man, that's got to be a nice. Uh, that's got to be a nice profit margin like that. Got to be a nice profit margin in that coleslaw. It's nothing cheaper than cabbage, mayo, a little bit of vinegar, and some sugar. Carrot, shredded carrot. Or Jonathan, honey crisp. Apples are all right. I don't do backflips over apples, but it's nice to have a tree out back that kicks out the Heritage Grabenstein, very famous apple. From the area around here, very delicious. Good for baking, good for applesauce, good for eating out of hand. Problem is they don't last. They have a very short shelf life, so they weren't suitable for, sh for shipping. But they used them in the canneries here. Come to La Mazanias. Uh, I've been enjoying the uh, lemon meringue pie. That's been wonderful. If you're just coming in, please tap the like button. It's very appreciated. It should be easy to find on the, on a horizontal stream. Let's see. Uh, pear pie is basically over that. Time. Well, I'm going to, I'll harvest some pears and I'll see. Uh, the pear tree is doing great. There's a lot of blooms this year, so we're probably going to get the first decent yield off of the, uh, off of the pears, which is going to be fantastic. It's going to be, we're going to have a good year this year uh, because I sprayed all the trees. I like um, the Asian pears, the 20th century Asian pear. I don't know about a big pear, but I got a pear tree. Uh, yeah, 20th century. They're really good Asian pears. Yeah, you you know, Shan, you know, Anton, we're still we're starting to feel really sorry for Shannon right now, right? Uh, and a restaurant the coleslaw taste they put Parmesan cheese. Yeah, we had one that they put. Uh, uh, what was the one that Mr. Z got that they put uh, green peppers in it? And he was like, "Oh hell no, we got one of these twenty-five-year-old cooks that thinks he's a chef, so he's gonna." In the same place that messed with the tater tots, my, made un, inedible tater tots because the guy thought he was going to be the next, uh, the next uh, uh, Gordon Ramsay or whatever, right? It's like, dude, just put down the classic. If you can do that, we're all happy. Just do the classic. Hey, how you doing, Robbie? 
I imagine Parmesan and coleslaw. Uh, you know, be hard in a salad, but uh, I don't know. Froze the juice from the citrus. Uh, I'm gonna try to make some uh, uh, lemon gelato. You have to use a lot of egg yolks. I need a little green for my tummy. Maybe add. You need a little gas for your belly. Yeah, it's nice to see you tonight, Angus. No, I don't have an ice cream machine, nor do I want one. Gelato is pretty easy to make by hand. Hey Catherine, how are you? I haven't seen you all. Do you have a chili recipe? I have hack job chili recipe, zombie no man. If you think I'm gonna cook a chili for four or five hours on end, I, I do hack job cooking. If you have lemonade, put frozen well, one water down lemonade, same with orange. If you have lemonade, put frozen lemon juice. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I'm not that, you know, I'm just a seasonal person. Once the citrus goes, I don't really have a lot of interest in it. Although I do have the uh, Valencia oranges, which will be lasting deep into the summer here. It's great. You squeeze those babies for juice all, you know, all through the summer. It's nice. That's why I tell people, if you're going to get one tree, get a Valencia. Good stuff. Chicken and dumplings. I don't really do. I'm not much on the dumplings. I'd rather have like pot stickers or something like that. $18 milkshake. I saw a place like that in uh, Las Vegas. There's a place that'll do $18 milkshakes. We see them at the uh, first Fridays down in Las Vegas. They'll be set up there and have uh, they change the prices for the event. <clears throat> it's like eight, they don't even put the price on the outside of it. It's like you order it and then you, it's too late. You pay for it and that's it. <clears throat> but you have to figure as long as people are going to pay it. Snow White has delicious hamburgers. At least the one I had in the hood in Modesto was amazing. Salted caramel. I'd like to find that peppermint that I used to, that, that mint ice cream I used to have at Jimmy Woo's restaurant in, uh, in North Charles Street in Baltimore back in the 60s. Man, it had little flecks of green and red in it and it was, oh, it was so nice and refreshing. It was like the highlight of it. This freaking guy, Jimmy Woo, he made the cover of Life magazine with his kids. Uh, Snow White has good money. Shannon is 34. My favorite's Butter Pecan. 
freaking peeking. Yeah, I love that mint ice cream. You just don't see it anymore. It was it was the real deal before they started putting all the guar gum and polysorbate 80s and all this crap into the ice cream. So, I don't think you'd find that anymore. It's like the Mary Sue Easter egg. So we got a rain day today, guys. Not much we can do about that. I have to expand my repertoire with lemon. That's the thing I really love, the flavor of lemon. It's so refreshing. Lemon flavor. I think it was peppermint. Yeah, it had red and green bits in it. It was, uh, wow, it was delicious. And I don't even like peppermint. I don't really like mint at all. But that stuff was like, wow, it was just amazing. It was so, so good. Oh, it's raining down there. Ham and beans with a ham bone bit of chicken broth on this super rainy day. I've made the imitation bean with bacon soup. That's good. Peppermint stick ice cream. I don't know what it is, Noreen, but you don't really see it much anymore. Otter Pops, they make them jumbos. Uh, and lemon puree. or uh, <clears throat> Honey, I'm doing the lemon gelato. Or a lemon sorbet. Sorbet. Man, listen to that rain coming down. There'll be more people running food around tonight, I think. I'll have to check that with June Guadalupe. If it rains, do you have more business when you're doing the Uber Eats and Grubhub? And I don't even know if Grubhub is still around. I don't know. I'm not even sure anymore. <sighs> Some other plans up his sleeves. Well, I'll put it this way, Naomi. I'm closer to the end of this this weather than I am at the beginning. Right. The real kick in the butt for me is with it when the allergies kick in. But right. it's like the final foom up yours, you know. That's like the ultimate up yours, baby. Maybe take a trip to dry New Mexico. It'll be drying out here soon enough. It'll be drying out soon enough. Am I still doing construction work now? I do a combination of handyman work and uh, volunteer work, a combo of those two, to stay busy. I just finished the fourth rewrite of my book, so fourth go-through on that, so <clears throat> it'll probably take about six times through to get it the way I want it to be, so 
Uh, working on uh, getting ready to go back down to Vegas in uh, April and help with the capital campaign down there. Get that off the ground. Uh, see what other help I can be. I have to. We have a big job coming up in May at the local church here. There, we have to lower down the whole platform and in, uh, in the front. So there's a lot of stuff going on. Hey, Judy, just poured here in Astoria with a few sun breaks. All right. All right, so plenty of plenty of stuff to stay busy is coming up. Plenty of stuff. Yeah, I've been doing the stereo restoration for years. I should probably be able to get to a little of that over the holiday here because uh, I'll have evenings free for a few. I really have to finish the restoration of that the Morantz quadraphonic unit. It's still on the bench. Bone broth is delicious to make soups or stews. I just like opening a container of Swanson's uh, broth. It's great. Le chocolate bomb. A bomb cake. Something nice about like last night making that chicken stew with uh, uh, a lot of nice big chunks of chicken. That's what really makes it nice. You're not getting cheated like in the Campbell's. You get some little little chunk of uh, chicken in there and it's like you're jumping up and down with a treat right boom good really I mean, I know about bone broth. Don't they just throw bones into a pot anyway? I mean, yeah, it's a very hearty. You can also take uh, you can also take that and add that with additional broth if you want a more of a soupy uh, thing. You just add uh, you add a quart of uh, the uh, chicken broth and. Uh, in other words, you're very flexible with it. But if you don't put the, um, don't ever put the pasta into the broth to cook, that's a disaster. You get them starchy mess, it's all cloudy and funky. <clears throat> Always make sure to cook your noodles separate. Yeah, I don't, who in the hell measures? I don't measure. Right? Especially ba baking drives people crazy. Well, exactly how much flour did you use in the pie dough? Exactly how many cups of uh, lemons, real lemon, squeezed lemon do you use? <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I've heard of a bomb cake, but I never heard of a chocolate bomb when I do maltz bon soup. Oh, I had, uh, speaking of Smelly Cat, uh, happy Passover to you coming up. But listen, I was, um, I was at Greenberg's Deli in Las Vegas, right? And instead of having like these small matzo balls everything of soup that they dished out had like one big matzo ball and it, it was delicious it was really 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 uh, uh it was really good 
my only regret was that the bread i got the swirl bread the rye white swirl bread and it wasn't uh it wasn't you know it was like a little dried out at the end of the day should always find some people to celebrate passover with and have a good uh, have a have a good uh have a good communal experience that's what i always tell diane and all the jews in my life that are just home and do, you know it's like find something to get involved with you know call rever call uh, rabbi Leibowitz or whatever and uh, they must have a community event that you can go to right <clears throat> lift up the manashevitz and uh, lakayam right enjoy <clears throat> Same thing. Oh, uh, same thing with Carrie class. He's Jewish, right? He's like, oh, I got nobody to celebrate with. Well, you got to make it happen, man. You got to work it out, right? You got to take the initiative. You go to your temple and you post something up inside. You're like, hey, if anybody's looking, let's have a community a little uh, Seder here and let's get together, right? You might get three or four or five, six people together. And you're having a good time, right? I mean, holidays uh, should be shared. I guess, um, uh, I guess I'm going to be, I don't know, I'm going to put something down for uh, Blackbird and I. I might be live on Sunday. I don't know. I might be live shopping on Friday night. I don't know. You know, I'm just pl I'm playing a lot of stuff by year. <clears throat> year coming up. I'm gonna poor old dog being dragged around. That dog is probably like 25 years old, still being dragged around in the rain. Ah, poor dog. Things barely putting one foot in front of why mom never celebrates the Jewish holiday. It's like Diane. She doesn't, right? I'm married to Israeli. Uh, he never said only his parents didn't carry classes. Why would you call carry class a big baby? <clears throat> Yeah, but you have to uphold those traditions. You know, if if you don't carry them forward, who will, right? You lose all that heritage, all that linkage. <laughs> well, they're probably more fun, right? <laughs> Rocking around the Christmas tree, have a happy holiday. <laughs> all right, Festivus for the rest of us. No one's, well, he doesn't have anybody. I mean, uh, why is he a baby? I mean, it's just, he's just being factual. Uh, uh, he likes to decorate. That's cool. Uh, well, Colleen, be nice, you know. Be nice. Not everything's so cut and dried in other people's lives. Uh... I don't know if he's in it. I don't think he, I think he owns his own house up in Minnesota up there. He's a nice guy. Oh wow, the parking guy. The guy's still on the job, right? <clears throat> this girl's got a crop top on with the belly at it's pouring rain it's got to be kind of a miserable experience rainy rain i'm having a good time i'm just relaxing gearing down for the holidays here i don't pound back on everyone no one what a baby i said like sorry but i'm not into beta boys yeah come on colleen come on Beta boys, 
we believe everybody here should uh, be able to celebrate or have it still. That's why we often live here. We are family coming for Easter, a late Easter name. Oh, that's good. <clears throat> well, I don't pass judgment now. I'm just saying it's pouring down rain. It's like that's got to be a little. Uh, right. <clears throat> Last thing I think I want my belly out in the rain here. But uh, who am I to say? I got this doggone splinter in my finger we're gonna have to go fishing for that <clears throat> that's gonna be an exercise in pain that was preview of coming attractions coming up maybe i should do that alive to excite amanda hogan kiss on there and uh she likes a very high degree of pain factor and Yeah, it's very exciting. This will be the first year in my life not have any family to uh, have Easter dinner. Well, what's what's going on, Catherine? I mean, what's going on? You got uh, you got a crew over there. Are they uh, not going to be around? I think Janet's got to work. <clears throat> Never lived his naked family. Did you have a naked family? And just hubby. Well, I think, you know, Catherine, it is what you make of it, right? I mean, I'm going to probably have Blackbird. I think Janet's working on uh, Easter. And, uh, you know, we're going to we're gonna do it up. We're going to have a celebration. We're going to have mashed potatoes and uh, do it up. Well, it's a good thing you weren't here a couple years ago, Colleen, because uh, I wasn't known for wearing much of anything at all. So, uh, great to So, I think, Catherine, you'll still have a good time, right? Maybe it'll be like a second honeymoon. You'll be looking at each other with stars in your eyes. Hey there, you with the stars in your eyes. Would you say yes again? <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. I'd kick you out of my life. The biggest mistake I ever made was saying I do to you. Happy Easter, darling. <laughs> Gonna write some original Easter music here for <laughs> the one I dislike, right? <laughs> uh uh, break out my bunny ears. Yeah, I gotta put that. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'll probably be live a bit. Who in hell knows? I don't know. Do, 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 do. Ooh. Maybe cook up an Easter ham. I don't know. Do, 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 do. I already have my sunflowers and ivy vines. I've got to um, get some lights around. I want to do a little. Uh, I want to do a little decorating. But I want it to stop raining. I want the rainy season to be officially over before I do all that. <clears throat> purple peeps and orange peeps. Marshmallow peeps. You can see my first Easter back in 2013 with the boss and Jana. We decorated, we did Easter eggs. And Catherine's like, oh crap, no. We were dying Easter eggs. 
bought a bouquet of tulips looks so pretty nice mmm peeps put them in the microwave they all blow up <laughs> right. <clears throat> nuclear peeps speaking of nuclear peeps we will do fine mom loved easter she did it up with big coconut cake bunnies and jelly be dead it's it catherine uh, a nice coconut cake. I think this year I just do a single layer. Maybe a small, small square, maybe a nine inch square coconut cake. My problem is when I, when I eat dinner, then I don't really feel like having dessert. And if you like, if you like chocolate, I would load up on it now because cocoa is at an all-time high, over ten thousand dollars per uh, per contract right now. I think it's, I don't know what a twelve twelve thousand pound contract or something. I can't remember what it is on the uh, the exotics exchange with orange juice, cocoa, sugar, and. Yeah, their cocoa beans are being ravaged in uh, Ghana and these places. <laughs> oh, you got to, you know, it take a while till it gets through to the powder, but I'm just saying. You're going to see chocolate prices soaring here. Wait till sugar prices take off. Do you like those little chocolate cream eggs? Yeah, they're called, um, the hell are they called? Cadbury eggs. Uh, only like one a year for me. <clears throat> I'm really not much of a sweets person. That I have not yet, I'm embarrassed to say. Could you send it again so it gets to the top of my email list, Alan? I hate to ask you. I've just been buried. I'm embarrassed to say, but I'm saying honestly, no. They changed the recipes and what they are the same now. I haven't had it in a long time. I liked the big, uh, my favorite was to get that big ass chocolate rabbit in. I used to pray that the thing wasn't hollow. The Balmer, B A W L M E R, and of course they were always hollow inside, right? And I would take those ears out first, right? <laughs> <laughs> right, I'd take those ears right at first and then smash the head into bits. <laughs> and then work my way down, right? Like I was feasting on the carcass, that was it. <clears throat> uh, shredded coconut, just commercial bakers is good. Yeah, you got to find the solid bunnies, but I just don't like chocolate enough to really do that. I mean, the Martin sent out that package that had pistachios and honey nuts, and it, it had uh, lint chocolates, the bag of the chocolate balls, different kind. I'm still working through that. Didn't they also send out the Whitman sampler, too, so... Uh, <clears throat> that's why I have to keep the exercise up. Seeds is very good, but it's like 26 bucks a pound now for that stuff. Starting to get up there. That's why the uh, Mary Sue Easter eggs that Shimei sent were so good.
with a pecan and nougat inside. Here's a treat that is sunny from your Easter bunny, the creamiest candy that's made. Cause using pure butter makes Mary Sue better to brighten your Easter parade. Hey Jen. And then uh, Noreen went on, they still have the same jingle on the thing. Right, I mean, hell, it's, what, 60 years later? <laughs> Uh, uh, what I don't like is malted chocolate. Those malt ball, malt balls, uh, those little malt ball eggs. I used to throw them at my brother. They were so hard. Boink him in the head with those things. Put them on a slingshot and phew, right, fire them up under tremendous pressure. <laughs> yeah, whoppers. Yeah, right, Cindy, just firing the hole. Right? Have <laughs> a thing not on the side of the head. <laughs> uh, key lime truffle. Okay, I'm just not much on key lime. Right, Cindy? Boys will be boys, right? Uh, five brothers. You're just going to be like, oh, man, every day is just fighting. It's like getting five male cats together right now. <clears throat> Somebody always had some grievous injury, bloody something or other, broken contusions, bones. <laughs> right? <laughs> Probably a little brain damage in there, too. <laughs> Being hit over the head with baseball bats and playing whipperoo, which was terrible. You know, that's all we knew how to do was just... Uh, that was it. Just inflict pain on each other. That was the highest order of uh, brotherly love. That was it. Boy, I haven't made a cheesecake in years. Years. I used to make that pecan crusted cheesecake. Ooh, that was so good. The only original recipe I ever made on my own. Yeah, Cindy's new job. How about that? She gets weekends off now and doesn't have to worry about uh, you know, the 3 a.m. starts and stuff. And she gets to tell people what to do. What sounds amazing? Us smashing each other to pieces or what smell? You would have liked to have been a fly on the wall to see that, that boy action there. <laughs> More blood. <laughs> Blood coming out of the ears. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, I know I got a tooth knocked off. Uh, you make that. Yeah, it's just a, who's going to eat it, Smelly Cat? That's the big problem, right? I've managed to always keep my weight very stable and stuff. And if I start really uh, going for it in a major way. Yeah, look at how Bird and I, we're, some nights we just drink and we don't even eat, right? Uh, I need a regular work hour. I get up at 2.30. Yeah, you're done with that soon, honey. Good for you. You can, you know what, Cindy? You can give them the big fungal on the way out the door. You know, you can put the maloik on them. <laughs> what you want to do is like they do at Walmart. You want to pick up the intercom <laughs> <laughs> Just say, I like to say, F you for all the years of through two thirty a.m. wake up and everything like that, and then just put that down at your butt and put. <laughs> That's the way I am, wine country. Like, what am I gonna do? Oh, throw it in the freezer. My freezer, I can hardly get the door open. I got blueberry muffins in there, been frozen for six months and stuff. You know what I mean, Cindy? Make sure you leave something that people talk about. Like, wow, can you believe it? Right? Talk about parting words. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. Alan's like, I admire your honesty. Oh, brother.
Yeah, pull that stuff to thaw. I know I have to. I have to work down in the freezer. But I started the other night. I pulled out everything except the uh, spaghetti in there. And I just ate it, right? I mean, the soup, I had the rice, I had the pot stickers. I just pulled it all out. I said, what the hell, I'm going to do it up, right? <clears throat> I'm not going to waste this stuff. I mean, that French fry is down below, but they're terrible. They're just like French fry ends, these crappy things I bought. I mean, I don't even want to have them, right? They're just, they're more trouble to to eat and they're worth I'm just like you know do I have to hold on to these damn things uh yeah I don't want to get an extra freezer I don't want extra anything right thing to do is you got to force yourself to uh, I mean I got a pizza that's been there since Missy Jen was there right it's like a DiGiorno's. It's, I'm sure it's still good, right? So I might have tri-tip. I got that tri-tip in there. Teeny tiny den in it on weekends. Yeah, it's difficult for me. But I didn't get sick. I mean, what the hell? The refrigerator, throw that away. Just, honey, it's going to go right down the old Gulliver there. <sighs> I just don't want to waste food. Check for freezer burn. Even with that freezer burn, we just roll it right down the old hatch. That's it. Uh, Norian's seen it all over the years here. Wait till we get back on uh, uh, Dollar Tree food tasting again. Man, we had some nasty stuff, some Jamaican jerk pies. It uh, just made your eyes blow out, right? Then we would, uh, then I would go on and find the factory where they were made, and I would do a factory tour of it, right? And people's eyes, like, holy crap, you're eating something? This <laughs> shithole up on Long Island or something, right? It looks uh, worse in my hood, right? And <clears throat> there's like goo leaking out of the tanks. <laughs> right some kind of joy juice all over the ground and uh, everybody looks defeated coming out of work and everything smile for the company picture uh, right uh, man the best one was down in uh, Texas it was called Morris what was it called Morrison baking the hell was it called and they had the baking kits for like the cornbread and stuff like that. Morris, Morrison. Man, they had a really nice factory. She did, she hated those tastings. I had to drag her to the table. She dreaded to see anything with like Bar S or Farmer John on it. I was like, here we go. Uh, we're going to have pickle and onion hot dogs from Farmer John today. Ooh. <laughs> right. We're having jerk chicken pies from uh, Long Island or some third world baking company up there. It's like you'd get the end of a pencil eraser in it. <laughs> Part of a chain from somebody's uh, thing. <clears throat> Uh, bologna's okay, probably because you get a good visual on it, Smelly Cat. You know, you're getting a, you're getting the plane that you can see, right? You're on a very thin, two-dimensional plane, whereas a hot dog is rather three-dimensional, and they can stick a lot of weird stuff in that thing, and out of sight, out of mind, right? <clears throat> you're on a very flat plane there, so you have a good viewing aspect to view the, uh, bologna. It's the way I feel about the big meat that I get from um, whatever, Carl Bodig, right? I can visually kind of check out the meat, right? I can inspect it for spurious bone chips and other things when I lay it down there. I have that low cholesterol meats nowadays, really. I just pile the meat up. Just lay on the big meat. Uh, one time, my dog wouldn't eat him. Ooh, nice. 
Sounds like a bar S with the pig hearts. And, uh, it's good. Bologna is good. Man, this rain just won't stop. And fish are usually my new meats nowadays. Wow. Wow. That renders me a little speechless here. Like if I had to give up the big processed meats with nitrates and stuff, I'd be out of my mind. I'd have acute withdrawal from uh, preservatives and... <clears throat> Yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty nasty. It's 56 degrees. We got kind of spoiled a little bit, but, uh, you know, it's all right. This helps set the cherry tree outside. <clears throat> it's weird how you pronounce baloney nothing like it's written, right? Yeah, thumbs up or appreciate it. Thank you, GTB. Please hit the like button. We're having a good time tonight. There's not much we can do in the rain. It's raining in Santa Rosa. Bologna. No. Yeah, I mean, it's weird. I like salami a lot. Some of these people go into deli, you get that really thin sliced uh, salami and stuff and throw it on there. I don't like, um, I don't know what that pink meat is that the Italians, I don't know, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, no, we can't drive around. What's up, Alistair? Driving around sucks in the rain. What's that pink meat called? I don't know what it's called. Some Italian cold cut. No, it's not prosciutto. I like prosciutto. That's really good. Cindy Russo has that stuff. Prosciutto. Beautiful blue cheese. Mortadello. That's what it's called. Mortadello. No, I just see, you know, is hanging and going around in the rain. Is what are you going to see? There's really nothing to see around here. It's, uh, Capicola Mortadello. <laughs> That's what it's called. It's some weird looking pink stuff. Something like that. Make the tires scream. This car has got a lot of get up and go, but you don't find many front wheel drives that are going to do a burnout, right? That's what was cool about the GMC RV. I had the 1974 GMC with the big block 440 Olds engine in it. It was the only RV that could ever do a burnout. Hell, it was the only front wheel drive RV. Imagine a 28-foot RV doing a burnout. It's like something out of Breaking Bad. Boy, that huge Oldsmobile engine. But that, that engine would just tear up the uh, drivetrain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, Alan. It's like I knew many people. That's why I put the thing up for sale. This guy, uh, 
James Whitlock or whatever had a wheel lock or whatever. He had one a couple years younger than mine and he had nothing but this thing was professionally rebuilt in Florida and stuff. And he blew his, uh, you know, and it's hard to find those parts, right? He blew that Buick uh, Riviera front wheel drive. Shit, I'd take mine up to 4,500 RPM. <clears throat> but that thing, that was like one of the, that was like one of the most, that was the most powerful production engine that Oldsmobile made. And that thing would roar. You go back and listen to my videos. Yeah, do a rain shoot. <clears throat> my restoration videos. That was one powerful engine. Big four barrel kicking in. What a beautiful engine. Had a lot of, uh, had a lot of power. It was, remember. I'm going to bike ride home in the rain. Remember that? Terrible. <clears throat> that was the worst bike ride. Man, that was miserable. That was like in April. And it rained and it got real cold and soaked to the bone. I thought I was going to be sick as a dog. When I got back... It's unbelievable. Unreal. Oh, I can just curl up in the back and go to sleep. James Wonderland as well as Shemay. Very nice guy. Yeah, whatever happened to James uh, Wanderlust Estates? He had that uh, GMC that broke down. He paid all that money and then he talked to me about that. And I did a video about it. I said that company should be ashamed of itself. And then the guy contacted me and, uh, you know, was threatening legal action. I said, oh, dude, I'm telling the truth. I got the same vehicle. I wouldn't let your cat work on my uh, GMC. <clears throat> all right. I wouldn't let your cat put, a paw, put its paws on a wrench on my vehicle. I never heard from the guy again. The guy blew that, uh, blew those things out, man. I immediately put mine up for sale. Some guy bought it to take his dogs to pet shows or something. I don't know. Some kooky crap. That thing's probably still floating around the area somewhere. Man, that thing was nice. It had a war it had a dishwasher in it. It had a central vacuum. But the damn bed was so small. James Hey, what's up, Nicole? James hasn't posted a video. I hope he's okay. Well, he got all involved with that broad from Central America or whatever. She got him all spun around the axle or whatever, and then he was doing these uh, jobs up at the beet harvest and all this stuff. Right, freezing his sack off up there for 1500 bucks for two weeks. Uh, he's pretty much retired. I think he has an apartment now. Uh, yeah, a few people are going to be long-term in RVs. I can't remember that girl had an RV in Arizona and she was a belly dancer. Can't remember what her name was. Man, she was a knockout. I can't remember what her name was. She was pretty handy too. Uh, you 
Yeah, but you're not, you're like in a mobile or something, it's different. Anybody remember that chick's name? Hey, Katie. I don't I can't remember what her name was. Yeah, can you remember her name, Nicole? Remember she had uh, she was a belly dancer and uh, really nice looking piece of wool, but I can't remember what her name was. She was very talented. She uh, uh she did all kinds of RV work on her RV and stuff. I'm trying to, I just can't, Patty or Patricia, I think it, I can't remember. Yeah, she was, she was like out of Phoenix or something. <clears throat> I would like just, you know, just gone. I don't think she does anything anymore. I just can't remember. I don't know if a lot of RV people are still posting anymore. I saw Mike Living Free put something up today. I'm coming back to YouTube or whatever. It's like, okay. <sighs> Maybe you can send me the ebook I purchased uh, 10 years ago or whatever. that girl's name it was Cat Catalina yeah that was the one he got she got him all twisted around the axle or something I don't know what happened she probably got her green card or something and just moved on you know what who in the hell wants to be up at the beet harvest shoveling beets and you know, 22 degree weather in an open, open warehouse, right? This is not, uh, you know, this is not what chicks from Central America are cut out to do, right? Come on, Nicole, look up that belly dancing RV. Look up that. You just put RV belly dancer in there. It'll come up. I went on photograph. Uh, never heard. It. Well, why would you do that when you're a minister, William? Plenty would do it for the right money. This guy's been a minister, a nut farmer, and just generally a nut. La Catalina, right? Hey, June, how you doing? June, when it's raining, is business better or worse? Oh, Lord, before I was a minister. What an interesting life. What, are you going to come out to Modesto for pictures or what? Oh, uh, well, there's a blast. Yeah, he bought some land up in, uh, I don't know where in the hell it was, Arizona or something. I think he got frozen out or roasted out or whatever. I don't know. The dog died. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know, too much using a dog like like the other kid used the cat for attention and stuff. 
And then when I had Porky one time on a little video, like Porky's like licking the food and everybody, oh, you're just using the cat for <laughs> attention. And then they were real disappointed the next day the cat was, the kitten was gone, right? It's like, <laughs> it's like, oops, there goes that theory. Baby Porky. Dang, I can't remember that girl's name. Uh, as I did crawl through plenum, uh, yeah, I used to do that too when I worked for AT&T Systemax cabling system at Air Force bases. I have to crawl through all that crap. Pippi Peterson, thank you. I don't know if Pippi, Pippi Peterson. I don't know if Pippi's still around. That's it, Pippi Peterson. I don't know if she still does YouTube or not. Pippi Peterson, yeah, that was her. She's a fine looking gal. Pippi Peterson, that was it. Looks like her bids are up. Okay. I don't know when the last time she uploaded was. I don't know. You could look at some of her belly dancing and stuff. She was like professional grade belly dancer. Yeah, Camo Dave, yeah. I mean, she was pro level. Yeah, Pippi Peterson. I don't know if I was subscribed or not, because I think she stopped doing videos. I think she burned out on the RV life. Probably too many plug toilets and just uh, set, put it up for sale. Too many black tank changes. Pippi Peterson, that's it. <clears throat> Did I live by the bridge that collapsed? That was pretty much, um, you know, the very southern southernmost southwest area southeast area of Baltimore I was more centralized towards downtown but I remember very well when they were building it and everything <clears throat> I remember when they did the Francis Scott Key Tunnel 95 under It's just a hard luck town, Baltimore. <laughs> we made it back to America. Yay. Welcome back. Pippi Peterson. Mm -mm -mm. A blast from the past. Yeah, Dave used to tell me, oh, I don't know, you know, these people don't like me much. I said, man, just do, we keep doing what you're doing, doing. And I said, they don't like me either. Thank you, Mystic. Right. I said, don't worry, a lot of people don't like me. Thank you for the uh, dono. Thank you very much. Cable State Bridge. They should do a third tunnel underneath. Yeah, the original Harbor Tunnel, the Francis Scott Key Tunnel. They should just do a tunnel under it and be done with it once and for all. Get uh, get Elon Musk's boring company up there. Let them go at it. You know, the, the size of the ships compared to 1977 is exponentially bigger, so You'd have to have an exponentially bigger coffer around that uh, those bridge supports.
you get 200 tons floating at seven miles an hour moving towards you. Nothing's going to absorb that kind of mass. What they should do is make sure that all big freighters and cargo ships are escorted by uh, pilots and assist and tugboats on the way out till they're clear of the uh, harbor, way further out on the Patapsco River. Damn shame that's gone. They could have made all the steel for the new, uh, for what they're going to need. Yeah, you just don't realize how big those ships are until you see one with a bridge laying on top of it with a roadway across the front bow. <clears throat> it's got the perfect piece of the 100 foot section of roadway laying right on top of the bow with the lane stripe on it and everything. It's just weird looking. Yeah, the road on the ship. Look at the picture on the front. The roadway's perfectly right down on top of the deck. Looks like they just lifted right back up into position again. So the first priority is get the channel clear, get that crap out of there so they can get the ship starting to run in and out. Because you're going to have, I don't know, 12, 1,500 longshoremen on layoff here. That's where all the ships are imported into America come through. East Coast through their BMW and a lot of the stuff from overseas. Pippi Peterson, wow. I'm going down to Vegas the third week of April. It's going to be another 12-day 12 uh, twelve day excursion because it's dirt, dirt, dirt cheap. It's like it's like 40 bucks a night or something. <clears throat> we can't believe dogs were not out there with this shit. That's out of the Yeah, I, I think that's going to change. the the. I think that the protocol is going to change, Catherine, that... Uh, You'll have to make sure you have a tug assist until you're at, uh, you know, I'm not worried about the Chesapeake Bay Bridge because that has huge, um, huge coffers around it and stuff. But this, uh, until you're clear of the harbor, then that's it. That's going to be your birthday. Yay. April for me is the cruelest month. Usually when something bad happens to me, it always happens in April. <clears throat> T.S. Eliot called April the cruelest month. I got to get my taxes done. <sighs> the tax man cometh, and he cometh right quick. Pippi Peterson, wow. Unreal. Talk about history. Yeah, a lot of those RV people disappeared. You hardly ever see RV prepper Wayne. Hey, everybody, uh, RV preppers Wayne here. How you doing today? <laughs> Wayne maybe once or twice a year. It's never good news. Yeah, should have barricades around it. Yes, built that up a much more. Uh, huge boulders and things underneath but uh, I don't know I'm not a I'm not a civil engineer so hey everybody RV preppers Wayne here how you doing I'm, I'm here with Eric today and we're gonna do a solar system for the roof <clears throat> Uh, 
but a lot of those people don't do anything anymore. Hey, MJ. Static, nomadic. Uh, Yeah, I said static nomadic, not to nomadic fanatic. Uh, I've been seeing a rose. I don't know. I haven't seen the guy. <clears throat> There's a lot of hotel rooms down there. Well, that's what I said. When the cost of a hotel, when the cost of an RV spot for overnighting a nice one, was started to be double and triple the price of a hotel room, I it was pointless to me. It was just pointless to me. You, like in other words, if you want to go down to San Diego, you could play. You could pay. Uh, 80 bucks a night at the King's Manor Hotel down there on Hotel Circle. You could have a nice pool, a hot tub, and uh, easy access. And uh, then they're they're paying 150 bucks to put an RV there for the night. I'm like, we did all the tours of all the RV parks down there. Didn't make a bit of sense anymore. Well, timeshares are, uh, I don't know. I mean, I've been a beneficiary of a timeshare that somebody bestowed on me two times now in Las Vegas. I could never afford to stay at the um, uh, the Hilton uh, the Hilton timeshare down there at the South Point. I mean, you guys have seen how nice that is. I got a full kitchen for cooking and uh sofa and a really nice big queen bed and i mean it's it's the lap of luxury right some people i mean they sold it all out some people really like and use the timeshare i don't know some people don't like it once they're in it uh they're pure evil if you only can not give it away well Nobody forces anything to buy any. Nobody forces anybody to buy anything. I guess if you end up not liking it, then you know you didn't really know what you're getting into. Getting a lobotomy, yeah. Would it be for me? No, it wouldn't, but I'm not a world traveler. The person that has it, it's kind enough to let me use it, goes all over the world and takes advantage of their, uh, they really do take advantage of what they got. Not once, but twice I was able to spend uh, prime time, Labor Day weekend in there. Super nice. No AC in the van, but it was good. Very well run, very easy check-in, plenty of parking, no hassles, great restaurants around there. That's when I found like all the uh, Stallones and all these great uh, places down there were unbelievable. The Statler Hilton. Van City Van Life. I don't know. I don't really uh, follow any of them. I think it has to be sold. Yeah, I don't know, Carrie Clay. I just, it's, it's real easy when you don't have the money for it, and it's a breeze, right? You don't have to worry about it. Hey, 
I wonder how many people even remember the name Statler Hilton. Well, Lord knows Las Vegas has got tons of uh, hotel rooms now. Yes, I think interest rates will continue to rise. I think the level of debt funding just, you know, it's a, we're on a parabolic uh, upswing right now, carry class, where the debt is compounding at a ferocious rate right now. Oh, I had a great condo, didn't I, Judy? I mean, I'm so lucky. I love this person that let me use use that twice, two times, right? So easy, so convenient. I get on the elevator. I never rode the elevator with anybody else, even on Labor Day weekend. Not that I don't. Not that I mind riding with people. I'm just saying, you never had the sense that the place was just uh, crazy crowded. I mean, when I first checked in, you know, are you a guest of somebody that's an owner? Yeah, I'm a guest. I mean, they tried to put me into, uh, you know, give me the grand breakfast or something for the promo thing, but I just, I begged off on it. I mean, I'm not going to, I'm not going to get something just for, when I know I'm going to say no and, right, I just like, ah, uh, hey, hey, Johnny, oh, uh, right. Trump two dollar bill. I don't know my standard my standard Latin Vulgate Bible will do fine. <clears throat> it's one of the things you generally don't need backup, right? You're pretty much set. I would, I'd venture to say as soon as they announced that, that there was, there's probably been at least 10,000 sold to those things today, at least. Uh, I don't know. GTB, I just don't know. I got into a horrible fight with my stepfather to keep them away from me. Oh, okay, well. Hey, Shimei, how you doing? Happy, uh, happy Wednesday. Shimei's going to be busy the next couple days, too. Who knows, maybe the new lottery will post his bond. I don't know, boss. His bond got a big reduction to $175 million, so. Barter for baseball tomorrow, I am Go Giants. Oz, I hope it's a better year for the Giants than last year. I didn't see them make any moves that are going to, you know, I'm a little concerned about the Giants. In other words, you have the Dodgers that have slapped down more money than uh, any team in history, right? So...
And then they got that Sote Ohani, Otani all cut up, caught up in some gambling BS with his interpreter. I haven't quite gotten to the bottom of that thing yet. Ah. I had my coffee already, William. First thing I do when I go live, I'm at 7-Eleven on my way in to get a coffee. You can hear it's pouring rain here again. So I'm glad I got the fruit tree set in. I'm glad the cherry trees all set in. This is the best rain for setting trees, natural rain. That's all it does is rain. These cloudy days should go away no later than tax days. Usually the last real drop dead day of storms. I'm not saying you're not going to get rain once in a while, but the high pressure will build in and that'll be the end of it. Certainly by tax day, that'll be it. Then I have the horrendous allergies that come in. But I'm ready this year with the prednisone. It'll have to be pretty bad for me to grab it, but it'll, it makes me feel good to know it's there. <laughs> I'm, on a, I'm on a Zyrtec today. But I'll tell you what was really good. My spraying paid off really well in the orchard. Not a hint of uh, peach leaf curl. And as much rain as we had, that's quite a statement to make. Not a hint of peach leaf curl in that orchard. Last year that just wreaked havoc on the plum trees, the peach tree, all that stuff. Pear tree so happy this year. Listen, that rain. Yeah, I didn't have anything, boss. Nothing. Not one little bit. I sprayed those things like four times. I like to spray. You just hook it up to the hose and you're good to go. Yes, I've canned. I've canned peaches before. And enjoyed them. I'll be canning this year. Plums, you can't do a lot with them. These are not English style plums. These are Japanese style, Japanese variety. Oh, listen to that rain. I can a lot of tomatoes, I can a lot of, uh, I've put up lots of peaches before. Mouse toes helped me a lot when I was canning. It's a cold rain, too. No, you'll only see Tony on the vertical streams. I try to compromise one vertical, one horizontal, one vertical, so... I don't really grow peppers because there's too much growing time relative to yield on peppers. I don't enjoy peppers that much anyway. There's only three things that I'll grow. 
corn. Well, maybe four corn, onions, tomatoes, and uh, eggplant. That's it. You have a nice suc succulent set up there, boss, with lots of really cool uh, succulents. <sighs> yeah, it'll be nice weather. I'm not particularly worried about it. If it was December and I'm sitting here, of course I'm a little depressed. Of course it's much more, you know, because you know you got months ahead of you. At least the cats will be calm that they've been chasing Rosie around that place. Oh, I even saw that mug ghost faced around. I don't know where you get them. I got lots of ladybugs. I've had a ton of bees hanging around. I should put a bee box in. My luck, I'd get Africanized bees and end up dead. All right. <laughs> Go to pull the honey. <laughs> it's all over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, smelly cat, it's just like, it's just your luck, right? <laughs> that nice uh, Asian killer bees in there. Yeah, I like to be dramatic, Nicole. I always like to imagine the most extreme sort of possibilities. It makes for the best YouTube. Because people can visualize me puffing up like a, the Stay Puff Marshmallow guy. My fruit trees have a nice strong frame to them now, which is good. So you, you also, you always have to avoid carrying a lot of fruit on the trees until it gets a good frame and handle it. Because peach trees are notorious for overproducing and breaking branches. I always have to tie on poles to hold it up. Where would you rather I be, GTB? Yeah, the van is nice. Got a nice comfortable seat. I don't have to worry about it tipping over backwards. Hey, Navy's got to bring in the big cranes. That's a lot of steel to move out. Got to get that crap. Got to get that whole road deck off the front of that, uh, off the bow of that uh, freighter. It's a lot of material to be moved. You got to open up that. Uh, you got to open up that channel ASAP. Coast Guard doesn't generally do salvage stuff of that scale. You need the Army. Uh, you need the Army Corps of Engineers and all the big Navy lifting equipment out there. The boys from the Navy Naval Academy are right down the next river down. Send them up. Down off the Severn River. <clears throat> Help out, boys. Oh, thank you, Barry.
give those boys some real life experience dealing with wreckage. That's a lot of steel down. Got to get that channel open. That's a deep water channel. You have a lot of industrial plants in there. <clears throat> Oh, it's a, it used to be the fourth biggest port. Now it's like ninth. It's where all the BMWs and a lot of the cars come in. You know, like, uh, it's just a lot of knock-on effect. You've got uh, uh, Domino Sugar has its huge refinery right there. You can't bring in the raw sugar right now. So it's, it's going to be very problematic. No, I look very relaxed is what I look. Rain makes me relaxed. How are you doing, Ted? I know one Ukrainian boat captain is worried about going to the front line. <sighs> That's one huge operation, that sugar refinery there. So if I'm on the East Coast, I want to be loaded up with sugar. Domino Sugars. It's a shame Bethlehem Steel's closed down, and that would have been an ideal steel production right there. Biggest uh, steel plant in the world at one time, gone. Even the Indians who owned it couldn't make a go of it. When I think of what used to be there, Procter & Gamble and Glidden and Western Electric, all the ocean, all the big cable... Millions of miles of cable came out of that plant from 1929 to 1980, 1985. All cable. <clears throat> Ocean cable, lead-covered cable. Big 500-pair stuff. They had the SS long lines that used to lay that down. Ross and Blackwell, Coca-Cola, General Motors, all the buses and trucks came out of there. People made a good living. Those union contracts were written in blood. United we bargain, divided we beg. Had the big Bethlehem Fairfield shipyards. Night, Nicole. Good to see you, honey. <clears throat> McCormick used to be headquartered up at the top. Yeah, it's good paying jobs. I was I was making damn good money when I worked at Western Electric in uh, apparatus shop in 1978. Communication Workers of America. I was well paid at that time. The average slob my age was making about three dollars and fifty cents an hour. Shit, I was making like eighteen bucks an hour.
You had to be there. You had to punch at 5 a.m., but that was all right. Yeah, it was big money, Carrie. It was all unionized, CWA. <clears throat> there you go, Dory Lynn. <laughs> uh. I was like a grade, grade 14 wire wrapper. It was dangerous though. Once in a while a guy got whacked on the big cable making stuff. They'd have these big things that were like 50 feet across spinning these, you know, 500, 500 wires at one time spinning them at the guy get all caught up inside of it and wrapped right into a piece of cable like when the boss was working at Napa pipe and somebody got their head put right in the pipe rack and boom that was it right it was like the headless horseman of uh, right Washington whatever Ichabod Crane or the headless horseman or something I don't know the legend of Sleepy Hollow or something you got to keep your eyes on the job. It was good paying. Once you were trained up, you had to make rate, but it was good. I was able to live high off the hog while going to school and stuff. Uh, you couldn't believe I saw Alan Gentry. I couldn't believe it either, man. I'm still pinching myself. I'm still pinching myself. First person I ever saw take a picture standing out in the rain. Uh, I'm still pinching myself. I have to see the boss and Janet uh, before I take off for Vegas again. My dad was a baggage handler for the railroad. I'm sure a good Union Pacific, uh, Southern Pacific engineer probably makes 125 bucks an hour. Uh, <clears throat> you don't need a lot of personnel to be on the trains these days. They go up over the Tehachapi... They'll just hook four of those engines together and shoot the Tehachapi loop going up. Yeah, that was good money, man. It's a shame we didn't have like uh, smartphones then to take pictures and stuff. <clears throat> yes, it was a union job. Hey, Harvey, I've been in multiple unions. And yet, carry class, the world still functions, you know, as much as wages are low. Well, 
Well, it's good to see you, Harvey. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you got your electrics fixed. <sighs> a lot of low-income workers also earn a earned income credit too, carry class, so especially if they have a lot of kids they'll get back tens of thousands of dollars and that in itself is a scam EIC Harvey, how's uh, you got people on the dole over there still? <laughs> oh, bloody hell, Rosie, you better believe it. You better be on the front lines designing that equipment then, carry class. They're going to need some good mechanical engineers out there to make that hamburger flipping equipment and... Harvey, you know I'm on the dole now, right? I've been on YouTube since January 4th, 2013 as a creator. And in that whole time, I've missed four days. Harvey, I'm on the dole now. You still have people throwing acid. If Little Rascal was hand built, you would not be able to. Yeah, well, I don't want things. I want things with uh, economy of scale. What's up, Lurker? Yeah, I guess if I had to grow my own food, I'd starve to death too, right? Oh, the potato crop didn't come in this year. Why not? I forgot to plant it. <laughs> right. You know, don't curse the darkness. Light a candle, carry class. Uh, of course, automation gives us that. Gives us economy of scale. Sometimes 500 a day for a small little guy. It's getting too much for hell. Oh, yeah? <coughs> How's your prime minister, Sundiac or whatever? Uh... Raji V. Sundiac or something. I don't even know who the hell the guy is. I don't know. He's quite a sharp dresser. He's peerage of the empire. The peerage class. Shame about Princess Kate. She's a very classy woman. I hope that... Uh, yeah, I hope that uh, she pulls through okay. She's got given a lot of dignity to uh, the office. She's been above reproach. Yeah, I just uh, I feel real bad about it because I, I just have this fear that they're going to be burying her in a year or two and... You're going to have a widow or a king. I don't know, Tony. They're laying off a lot of fast food people here getting ready for April 1st. They already put the notices out. You're going to see some very slim down crews in restaurants, and the quality of shit is just going to collapse. 20 bucks an hour out here is just untenable for fast food at the current prices. So, I think it's going to reach a point where people just stop buying the fast food. 
you know, we finally reached a point where it just becomes, uh, you know, restaurant price. Well, I know the quality's gone down. That's why when you hit something good like the Magnolia Cafe at the Four Queens, you got to hang on to that thing, man. You got to, you got to hang on to it. I've already seen fast food laying off people like crazy. Denny's, uh, Round Table Pizza, the the, uh, the the pink slips have been flying around here. You do the math. You have you have six people working it well, all in thirty bucks an hour with with uh, workers' comp and stuff like that, and all the extras. You have a hundred eighty dollars an hour, just in that's not even before you buy materials and stuff like that. And uh, let me tell you, brother, you got to you got to start moving a lot of merch. You know, you take how many hamburgers you got to start moving out at In and Out Burger. They got a crew of ten people in there working at the time. That's uh, it's three hundred bucks an hour. Let me tell you, brother, you got to move a lot of burgers. At two dollar, at three dollars and forty-five cents. Oh man! Well, minimum wage is not designed for uh, supporting a household. It was designed for students to work a wage while they're going to college and high school. That's what it was designed for. It's only recently that people have made it. Uh, tried to make it more than that. I hear from Missy Jen every single day, Harvey. Every single day. There's not a day gone by that we haven't uh, either talked or texted to each other. So, <clears throat> Once people are in my life, they stay in my life. I thought you weren't paying taxes at your rate of pay. Yeah, she's tough, Harvey. She's doing all right. I think if you uh, aren't don't have an income of fifty thousand dollars a year, you're not subsidizing anybody for anything. They're subsidizing you. Right, enhanced social benefits, EBTs, food banks. Medic uh, subsidized medical care. Obamacare for nothing. Just it's the people that are earning above that are really getting squeezed. They don't get anything. Look at that rain, man. Look at that rain. Yep, thumbs up or appreciated. We're just hanging out. I think March went by at the appropriate speed, Barry. <laughs> it neither went too fast nor did it go too slowly. I think it proceeded at just the proper pace. I get happy with May except for the uh, allergies. May and June are rough. Allergies didn't let up till July last year. Horrendous. I find that life goes by at an excruciatingly slow pace. Yeah, I think it will go on with sand and rain. Oak and ash. Man, when I get the grass pollen, I'm a goner.
Listen to that rain. <laughs> Dory lens. <laughs> I like Dory lens. Like I was doing a kid in 1978. I was. <laughs> uh, 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 be an entrepreneur, Carrie Class. Get out there and start your own business. Watch some of these YouTube videos. Cody Sanchez, all these people, she'll fire you up. What is she, 30 years old? Get out there, sell some real estate. Get out there and get that bankroll, brother. Get out there and get that bankroll together. Grab that fuller brush kit and get out there and do some door-to-door -door sales. <clears throat> I'm talking about a business that can support yourself without complaining about it. This is the 5% of our discussions you don't like, right? Carrie, the business permitting should be going like great guns right now. In California, you make a fortune out of here. This guy I gave the... I got my gun education classes from, and uh, man, this guy was making it hand over fist. He was, we were running, uh, we were, he was running classes over the holidays. I remember sitting in there like uh, the December 23rd or something. <clears throat> yeah, germanium, you got to retrofit them with something else. You can find some of that new old stock on eBay, Harvey. That's a really early, really early transistors, that stuff. We used to blow those things up, man. You needed a heat sink. We'd just destroy those things. <sighs> Yeah, from China, it's like all my tubes, Gold Star and Svetlana. Well, now we're embargoed by Russia, so you can't get to Svetlana's anymore. So, Harvey, I'm on the dole now, dude. Took me 50 years to get on it, but I'm on the dole now. You got 30 pounds each. Svetlana is a uh, is a uh, if aftermarket tube manu Russian tube manufacturing. They bought up all the uh, plans and patents from Sylvania and all these guns. So they made they they make tubes, vacuum tubes. Pretty good quantity uh, quality. I got some Svetlanas. No, I just got my regular. Western Electric makes tubes? I don't think so. They must be uh, using the name of Western Electric. Western Electric made the very highest, most expensive vintage 300C, 300B tubes and stuff. The most expensive sought after. People will pay $10,000. They're not real Western Electric. Western Electric became Lucent Technologies and was folded into Alcatel Lucent. Western Electric doesn't make vacuum tubes. <clears throat> yeah, I got plenty of EL84s. It's the A7s that uh, they're not Western Electric. It's uh, it's it's like, is there? Does Westinghouse still make refrigerators and appliances? No. Somebody bought the name Westinghouse, and <laughs> Western Electric hasn't made a tube in probably 50 years. <clears throat> My father worked for Western Electric. There was no tube manufacturing even at that time. <clears throat> Thank you. 
But if you find authentic Western Electric amplifiers and stuff, Harvey will tell you those things go for the primo, 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 top, 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 top dollar. Western Electric 300B amplifiers. The oh, people just pay like there's crazy. I never saw anything like it in my life. The old theaters they used to use in movie theaters, the amplifiers. Uh. Yeah, it'd be it, Naomi. I got to get back on my Morantz Quadrail Quadraphonic unit and finish the restoration of that. It's been a year. Yeah, new 300 B tubes are about 1500. Go price the authentic Western Electric ones. You can multiply by about five, <clears throat> and they're probably fake anyway. So, Western Electric vacuum tubes are the most sought after. Yeah, glass singer's still going strong, right? Doesn't do too much, but has a good following. Yeah, you have to like what you're doing for uh, to be successful. Glasslinger was a, a TV and radio technician for a lot of years. Repair, old school. So learn to train. Well, he made his tube. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put him in my unit, but I saw him make a vacuum tube once. It's hard to pull a good vacuum and gas those things out with the getter and all that. You have to be able to pull a good vacuum without uh, imploding the glass. I've only had that one thing blow up in the shop. Uh, all right, take care, Shemay. Yeah, Svetlana. I have some good Svetlanas. Yeah, the jobs aren't designed to be like they're, they're designed to support yourself. Those with get up and go, get up and go. Get yourself a good Fuller Brushman kit and go door to door. The people will love the novelty of it. Go, wow, are these guys still selling Fuller Brush? Yeah. You wouldn't believe what we have now. Really? Can I show you? Yeah, I got a little bit of... Come on in. All right. Sell 500 bucks a day of Fuller Brush stuff. 
you get that good sales rep always be closing right abc pull those brass balls out of the briefcase right harvey glenn gary glenn ross always be closing abc first prize is hundred thousand dollars second prize is a set of steak knives third prize is you lose your job <laughs> uh, fuller brush was great my mother used to say anybody that would go up 28 steps to get to the house deserves uh, right to buy something you see what these are these are what you guys don't have. Balls. <laughs> All right. Uh, who sent you down here? Mitch and Murray sent me down here. What about it? They had mercy on you. I would have fired every one of you cops. <laughs> if it was up to me, I'd fire every one of you. Get your foot in the door, yeah. Sell the novelty, yeah. We're still fuller brush, right? Make a fortune. Everybody's talking. Wow, well, you wouldn't believe a fuller brush man came to the house the other. Really? Wow, I'd like to see one. Yeah, well, it's, you know, I'll tell him to look you up. That's really cool. You still got guys that run around with Schwann's frozen food here. I've never bought it, but they're making a good living somehow. The Avon lady, yeah. I think too many of them got sexually assaulted, though. I think they had to stop it. <clears throat> Yeah, they'd probably call the law on him. <sighs> We've had some magnificent discussion this afternoon. Well, you got to work. W O R K, right? Ah. <sighs> Harvey, I'm digging being on the dole right now. It ain't a lot, but it feels good to get something coming in instead of always going out. <laughs> I used to say, oh, bloody hell, there goes another check. Uh, you're going to dislike this new job? Uh-oh. Yeah, I don't know many people that really like their job. Maybe Jamie Diamond, the chairman of Chase, uh, Chase Bank. He looks like he digs his job. I don't think the chairman of I don't think the CEO of Boeing liked his job too much before he got the royal boot. <clears throat> All right, take care, Harvey. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get some dinner. Oh. Oh, this weather sucks. Well, it's a free market. If he could get to snag something on the way out, good for him. Uh,
Go ahead, dude. It's weather. Uh, this is a perfect night for ramen noodles. Crap weather night. I think the weather's going to be crappy all the way through Easter. I got to get this splinter out of my finger. Doing good, Beverly. Got to make sure I don't nail a hood right here. There's Cupcake. Okay, got a good washing. Oh, we're gonna have to put our rain jacket on. At least these cats will be calm tonight.
Yeah, this was our uh, garbage day too. I already got the cans in and everything. <clears throat> The charger block I woke up is doing well. Woo! I smashed that thing on the table so hard. Ah, there's the lakes forming again. Hmm. See, that's the low side of the ranch over there. Oh, shit. I didn't drop it. What are we doing here? Oh, we got a cat hanging out. What's the temperature? We got 60 degrees. That's comfortable. That's a little warmer than we're used to. Me, 60 is comfy here when you've been in the 40s and 50s. Hey, Blackbirds. Never underestimate the human body's ability to, to adapt. It's been pretty amazing.
seat wet now. It's okay. Have to start at the bottom. <laughs> Working with pricks. <laughs> Oh man, that's funny. It's really a gloomy day. What's up, Queen? <laughs> We're in Macy's. This guy said last night. If I was there, I'd knock that commie hat right off your head. I said, dude, this is a piece of Americana here. This is Macy's, all right? I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> all the good stuff happens late night, right? Hey, Bev. from the south. It should be warm. I don't know. Good Lord, we've had so much rain this year. I'd like one of those dry winters again. When everybody's complaining, we the reservoirs are running out. Woo! After tonight, I don't really know when I'll be live again. I know it's not going to be tomorrow. Might be Friday for shopping, I'm not sure. But Monday at the latest. I'll be doing recorded content. Yeah, you too, Dorian. I'm sure I'll be recording an Easter video. Don't catch around here. How's it going, Rosie? Good, Bird. How you doing? I'm doing okay. Brain again. Yeah, a little bit. I think we're going to get it Friday or something. I think it rains till April. We get April showers. April showers bring May flowers. Look, it's so funny to see you drinking that because you're all Michelob Ultra. <laughs> Dottie might... It's as if you just started drinking a totally different beer, right? Yeah. Like it, Modelo no. or something. It's like, um, Bobby, Budweiser and then Coronas were all like, what? Where'd that come from? Huh? <laughs> this tastes almost the same as Michelob Ultra. Really? Like half the price. <laughs> it was pouring a little while ago. Were you working outside today or inside? I was working half the day outside, and then it started raining. So I went to lunch, a little wet, not bad, and then worked inside the rest of the day. So yeah, it was good. Bless. It was a little colder today, it seems. Yeah, it was the, yeah. 
It was cold. There's a <coughs> damn ghost there. Yeah. He's been nice. I think the past week he only chased Tiger around one time. But they kind of, like, he'll be right behind Tiger, but Tiger doesn't seem scared of him. Yeah, because it looks much. like uh, Ghostface is a little worn out these days. He looks they like he's know past. Each other. I don't know how they communicate. Ghostface looks like he's past his prime now. He looks a little slow and shaky right now. But he's not really scared of me. He comes and looks at me. I think he just wants to see Rosie or something. <laughs> But not too scared, and he hangs out because I don't chase him away. When he was beating Tiger up, yeah, we like chase him away. <laughs> but now they kind of like Tiger. If there he'll, was a, Tiger will still run, but what Tiger keeps run. If there was a if there was a cat that's in heat, those male cats would throw themselves on the barbed wire to get. <laughs> they they would electrocute themselves. <laughs> to get to that piece, you know? Yeah. It's like <laughs> it's different like, instinct. It's like nature's yeah. evolution going uh -huh. on, right? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> they throw themselves up the Grand Canyon if they thought there was going to be a soft landing at the bottom. Hey, E. Henley. It's raining again. So, is it supposed to rain all night? Supposed to be raining off for Easter. And oh, really? Clear it up next week. I thought it was going to clear up tomorrow and then rain off Friday. I don't Saturday. know. It might. We might be right. I don't know. Uh, never I know. If this was a cold one. I had to put my jacket on tonight. Yeah, it was a little cold today. So Easter is coming up. We can do. I think we should have more steaks. We say. Yeah, I'm cooking for you. I'm gonna cook some steaks too. What could you? Yeah, but you me. You could cook it. We could cook together. Yeah. You want a steak yeah. or you want a ham steak or something? I'm not eating. Yeah, we will get a couple steaks. And I'll get them this time. I want some. Easter eggs or something. We should have a, a stream where we dye them like kids or something. <laughs> right? you, you get the eggs and you dye them. Mm -hmm. I'll take care Rabbit of the... ear chocolate and I'll stuff. I'll take like. care of the dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you take care of the entertainment, all right? All right. <laughs> I'll get us a couple steaks. Because we want eggs and cakes, right? Oh, I, I'm sorry. Terry class, oh hello. Yeah, everybody's saying hi. Oh, Don, like, hello. I, I don't know who you are there. But we, we want to say hello. I'm sorry I don't pay attention to you. You can say hi. <laughs> okay, guess what, guess what? Come on, guess, guess. It's raining. Right. Can you hear it? Well, I have to go back in my cave, the bat cave. Hello, June. Just very. I have to go back in my cave because I'm ignoring my chat. Right. So we have to go say, hey, we're listening to Neil Diamond. Right. I don't know if you know who that is. But. How rude! We just wanted to say hello to Rosie. All right, peace out. Deregulation policy.
Bird just cares about having fun. He's never really been into the monetary side of YouTube and stuff. Look at how well Kitchen Stadium is held up. Never, never any drooping. We only got one bar that got a little bend in it. Gonna have a little Jackson Pollock fish tonight. <laughs> okay, Rosie, you're very smart. Where's your cat? Oh, that's right there. there. Tiger's over there somewhere. The ghost face is over there. And I think Rosie's I'm not very smart on average intelligence, but what can I So let me ask you this. What is the meaning of Easter? Because we asked you Palm Sunday and then we asked Alexa, it's the same thing, right? So let's see, what is the meaning of Easter or what how what is it? Jesus was crucified on Good Friday. Oh, on Good Friday. That and then was on Easter Sunday. He rose from the dead. Yes. According to the scriptures. The resurrection. That's predicted. Yeah. That's what Easter Sunday is. Palm Sunday is when he came into Jerusalem. Uh huh. Riding on the back of a donkey, and the people were putting down palm branches and laying down robes and stuff and welcoming in and, and things. It was a triumphant entry into. And those people were Hebrews? Yeah, Jews. Yeah. And then the Romans killed them. Well, the Jews said, it's either one guy dies or we're going to lose the whole Jewish faith because everybody's converting to this guy's religion like crazy now. Because yeah, the Jews, they believe in Judaism. Yeah, or yeah. No. And they're like, if this guy doesn't go, we're not going to have anything left in their wall. Or there's going to be no jobs left. The Romans will kick us out. <laughs> so... Envy and jealousy. <clears throat> so, Easter is the biggest day in the Christian world. Other than Christmas. Bigger than Christmas. Bigger? Yeah. Are you going to go to church? Yeah. Oh, I, I should you. go to you then. I'm in church every day. Well, We've seen the Easter Bunny, right? He's at the mall, right? Like Santa Claus. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's it. That's it. Yeah. Did you get your picture taken but, with the uh, Easter Bunny? Yeah, I think this Sunday it should be all about the eggs and the cakes, right? So we'll get some eggs and cakes, <laughs> and then I don't know. I don't want to go to church too, but my church, not like the Christian church, it like, you know, what kind it's of... It's a spiritual church. A spiritual one. People just... And not my church. People want to be connected free coffee. spiritually. Yeah. No matter what that spirit is, they want to feel like they belong and the, the people have a common bond. So I would never criticize something like that. They got like you know? 13 different, like whatever spiritual church is. Yeah, I mean, not, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying they seem like decent people. They've been yes. on the radio for 20 years that the I've heard them. They're all... Dr. Edward Phil you The majority, like, growing up in Wonderland, the girl, is like a young church, right? This one is like an older, like really older people. That you know, two young people over there? Sometimes. They're at the Victory Outreach Church down on, across from Community Bike. Down there. Oh, really? That's a big young people's non-denominational. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. All are welcome. And, uh -huh. you know, so. But they're really nice. You know. but I'm glad to go over there. Now, maybe, maybe you'll show up for go right? to a service one time. It's, yeah, it's funny because... Um, when they leave, I'll be smoking my cigarette way around the thing, right? And they'll wave to me when they're leaving. 
<laughs> here's, here's Dr. Edward Phil you. Goodbye, Blackbird. Oh my god, we're gonna bug him. I'm gonna go. Next time I see him, can you help me? Yeah, he'll be like, which deity is this? Yes, the goddess. Can you remind me? It's like, Blackbird, I've told you five times. This is. <laughs> no, because the last time we asked him, we said, we already told you. That's what he said, or something like that, right? <laughs> he didn't want to tell me. <laughs> oh. I was wrecked. My You're memory. a good person, Blackbird. You have a good heart. <laughs> Gaia or something. I don't know. We have to go to church on Easter, I think the Lord would say, you guys are all right. Yeah, you could drink a little less, you know. But, uh, okay. You know. I like people that have a good heart. Uh, so like a bad bird, there's not a malicious bone in this body. Hey, Patricia. See, the only problem with this bush light is it's like it's got, it's got like some, maybe it's because of the seafood or something, there's like some kind of weird metallic taste at the end of it. I don't know what it is. doing Patricia I got some videos to send you Anybody doing anything special for Easter? Any Easter traditions? Any Easter feast? Any good food? Easter is an important day to feast and celebrate and eat well. We got this new bag of potatoes we're going to break in. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to be live till Monday, but you never know. Uh, how about you, Ronnie? Mm -mm. Zombie Nomad, don't come in here in the cold. Well, we could be running out of gas. We could be close. 
We could be close. <laughs> Get the Easter thing. I'm blocked and I can have email. I mean, y'all in general physics. I don't send it, I send it to Gmail. Not Yahoo. <sighs> there must be some interaction with seafood or something, I don't know. We could be at the end of the line on that gas cylinder, I don't know. Listen to that rain. I'm taking in the holy days and just enjoying them. And, uh, just have a little me time. I need I, a couple things I want to get done here. So I'm looking to just have a little bit of time off for Easter. You know, I might be live to bake a cake. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm, I might be live shopping. I haven't quite decided. I know tomorrow night, absolutely positively, I won't be on. <laughs> Inspecting gadgets. They must have absolutely cheated me. Maybe it was a true value. Brought to you by True Value Hardware. I got a few things I'd like to do. Luckily, it's not a real hard rain, it just comes and goes. Yeah, it's almost April. How about that? Yeah, Patricia W. We haven't seen you in a couple of days.
I think I'm gonna make a coconut cake. I think it's just gonna be a single layer. It's gonna be a small one. But it'll be it'll be chock full of goodness. I still have some cream cheese. Check out the JBL. It seems to be the JBL boombox seems to be. Uh, Bluetooth seems to be very popular with the bikers. issues with kitchen stadium at all I hid my tax bin and I don't know where I don't even know what that means honey talk to me like I'm a fifth grader and like you lost your discount coupons at the stripper club or something is that what happened <clears throat> figure it out, right? Cali Mo, I'm trying to figure it out. You know our Patricia Wakefield. The girl's got to get her fun somewhere. documents uh, into a tote and hit it now I went to get it. <laughs> well you may, you'll find it you'll find it just join millions of other Americans and just don't file taxes this year <laughs> I always wait till the last minute to do my taxes. keep missing my earbuds. And I'll buy a pair and put them down. And I'm going to take good care of them and then before you know it, they're gone. It's like, where did they go? Right? Listen to that rain. I've lost like three pairs of earbuds. Patricia Wakefield, is your uh, Gmail working? It must be. You usually wrote me yelling at me. So. Oh, it's cold tonight.
This kitchen stadium is made to stay up. Oh man, I don't know. 409 or something. Uh, I gotta degrease mine. Patricia Wakefield, did you lose your password? Password problem. I don't know four or nine, but that's the best thing I can think of. <laughs> You keep messing with those adult sites, uh, Peter's of Wakefield, they're loading all kinds of stuff into your computer. Cold wind down my back. done that much like greasy cooking to have a big problem with the hood. <laughs> the last two years I've been mainly cooking out of here, right? I think I will. Janet's working, I believe.
man. This 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 thing has worked out so well this year. Good night, Alan. Thanks for coming in. Simple, easy night tonight. Was delicious. I think we got one more. Yay! Our eight shrimp medley. better on a cool night. Uh, I want to wish you a wonderful... Uh, well, I'm not saying I won't be Patricia, but, you know, I'm saying if I'm doing Easter dinner, that'll probably be live. I might be shopping Friday night. I mean, I just don't know. I just gave people a little bit of a heads, heads up. Might be clear till Monday. The, the weather is going to be really crappy. <sighs> hey, of course I miss you. The only night I absolutely know I'm not going to be on is tomorrow night. So, probably tomorrow night and Saturday night. <laughs>
this crapola. Tonight is Wednesday night, yes, yeah, so Thursday night and Saturday night. me right up. Yeah, we don't delete people on verticals. Ah. Hello, Gerald Feast tonight. Hello, James. <sighs> Love to be dry outside in the rain. It's a nice feeling. It's a nice feeling. Ooh. 
I don't know if I'm going to have a piece of lemon meringue pie or not yet. I haven't decided yet. <clears throat> uh, I just feel like we... Oh, what? I may stop and uh, just feel like I left something on when I don't connect with her. Already. Yeah, there you go, Patricia. That's it. That's exactly it. <laughs> if you don't connect, we miss you. Right. Even though you lost all your tax forms and everything else. <laughs> I'm surprised we've never shored a dad out here. Uh, no surprise, we never shorted it out. <clears throat> Isn't that amazing? We never shorted it out. <clears throat> Here I gotta seal that. I gotta seal that downspout. Oh, that sucks. Ooh. Yeah, we've been having rock and rolling good times. It's really coming down, bird. Yeah. I like it. I like it when I don't have to work. It reminds me of Humble County. What does that mean? When you can just hide it up and not... Well, like, we we're listening to Neil Diamond, and you can see the rain and hear it. It works really good, you know? Nice. Nice. But if you're working in it, like, no, not so much. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, yeah. Especially in wintertime. And it's I think raining. that would, I think that would kind of suck. Yes, and the the land here it's muddy, so yeah, it doesn't drain. Yeah, to walk around it. It's, yeah, it's uh, yeah. Oh, well, that's it. Well, they get blocked by leaves a lot, so you got to make sure they stay unblocked. I took a lot of time to empty all their drain gutters and everything this fall. Oh, nice. But I still got some problems. This is, this I have to seal over here. Oh yeah, that thing. Okay, I could get some. I have I got, so much I got this. I got this, I got this seal. You know the secret flex? Mm -hmm. Like, I have, like, I could get that stuff. I just haven't put it on yet. For free, Rosie, I'll get I it. I got it, I got a huge thing of it, but I just haven't been dry enough to put it on yet. It's all good. Yeah, because someone left a, a, not one case, but a couple cases of that stuff on the job site. So my boss is going to take it. If I ask my boss, can I have, yeah, you, I'm going to get one. I'm going to ask him just because I want one. I don't like that stuff because it get, it's a different kind. It gets stuck on your finger. It's not like your average cough. Yeah. Right? And then, not like a, you know, a cough bite. Or it's, 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 yeah, well, that's, that's a really old school down. Seal it. That's a really old school downspout with a lot of twists and turns 
I don't know if it's got uh, that sickle price for the word. Oh, Patricia W., I want to thank you. Patricia, like, oh my God, she miracled me, Rosie, right? Like, yeah. we, we miss Gracie, because Gracie loved me and made my Christmas and stuff. Like, and then, Patricia W., like, you are like, I'm not effing off this limit. I got a brand new skill set. Magnesium. Like, and the cats are so I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. They made my Christmas. Because they're brand new. I got another one. They're not brand new. Got, yeah, that same thing. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, Patricia said a high blackboard. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. <laughs> Can you hear the rain? I'm going to sing my rain song. He's going to make still, it rain. He's still working away. He's ready to go over to some plumbing jobs. So. Yeah, and the guy seems really cool. I know you have chop chop times, but it's not like, you know what I mean, straight to the grind. It seems way down. Yeah, you might get a few more dollars, too, if you want. Yes. Which would be nice. And a, a bigger thing. Like, you know, like yeah. one of those weird things that are, like, huge. So, a little bit of work. I like it when they're taller. Like, you know, not in the eye to wear. I like it anywhere on the 888 on the fourth thing to get out. That was a good one. Oh my god, my good. boxes were so cool. Yeah, the electrician brought his daughters and his wife. Yeah, everything. The only thing about the electrician, we're all friends, right? But one day I wore a LA thing and then you got the wrong jersey on. Yeah. It's like, look, we're not friends anymore. We're like, oh, but not like that, but like, they yeah, looked at me like, okay. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh -huh. I got a kick out of that. That's funny. That's funny. That's really good to me. I think it's, I'm not sure if it's going to be rain free tomorrow or not, though. I don't know. I haven't looked at the weather. So, they look like rain. They look like it's rain every day. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The good thing, like, I know Sonoma is connected to Mendocino. Mendocino is connected to Humboldt. So it's like the same thing. The day is the... All I know is the rain keeps those trays away in a big way, so that's good. So I know it's good for a Because we have this extreme... Uh, Every time I see that fat head cat in the neck, it takes me out of here. We... That was spot sports, and now it's baby shot sports. They're kind of like a pair. Yeah, the thing's a killer. It's a trick because he just looks at me and I'm tired of chasing him away all the time. And he just looks at me like, what are you looking at? Hey, Ricky. Uh, yeah, it's really raining here. But this kitchen stadium has been built to stay up, man. You did an excellent job. Remember that first year was fighting yeah, to keep that thing up, like man? It was like trial and error, and Rosie figured it out like, I can't believe it. Because <laughs> it's been windy. It knocked I the could, fence over. I could teach people how to yes. put up a party that uh, stays up. Yeah. The like, fence went on this side and that side and this side. Like, yeah. That's why I figured I'd better cut the grass and do <laughs> something. <man. laughs> These guys give me a solid with the fence. You yeah, know I seen that. It was yeah. really nice. You know? Because it looks, you know. So if I see the guy and I say, man, you really give me a solid in that fence, so. Yeah, I could have done it, Rosie. Yeah, I'm just saying that he, he was all ready. He had the material. Yeah. I'm like, okay, go for it. Huh. He's like, I got the four by fours for a penny each. Yes, he told me that. Well, so he scored. That. Okay, he's like, you can't buy anything for a dollar. You can do a penny. 
right? And so he got miracle on that, and it was it, it worked like bangering. Yeah, it did. It was unbelievable. He thinks Stalin. I helped him put this part up. Yeah, and he fixed the that things. part was Remember already this done. Part was yeah, yeah so they down. just didn't fix that. They went over here and did that one too. That was happy. All right. Well, listen, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it down, too. And uh, Blackbird, good to see you tonight. Thanks All for right. stopping Thank you, by Rosie. the I'm chat. sorry I don't mean to interfere. No, you're not. I'm yeah. just you know, Good night, everyone. Thank everything. you, guys. But to my moderators, thank you for everything. And I will um, see you guys. I don't know exactly when, but if I don't see you, have a very happy and blessed Easter. Okay. Uh, enjoy. Remember the reason for the season, and I will see you guys down the road. And if you haven't hit the thumbs up, please take a second to do so. And uh, be well, be safe, and uh, have a great night, everybody.